Hi, so in, in this video we're going to start talking about rearranging formulas. Uh, there's two different ways in which uh, you can do this, one of which uses relatively straightforward algebra, which is the one that we're going to be talking about on the board. Um, the other way uses algebra but also has an element of factorization in it. The difference would be something like that would probably be um, an A grade question. And the type of question we're going to look at today is going to be a C grade question, a uh, foundational level. Now you can either visit mathsrap.co.uk and that will give you quite a lot of information. Or if you subscribe to the YouTube channel by button at the top there, um, that will enable you to have a look at the foundation videos or the higher level videos. I uh, hope that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a different uh, part of the equation, what's called the subject of the formula. So a typical formula would be something like this. So we've got n equals 3h plus 40 divided by 100. Now at the moment, n is the subject of the formula. However, the question asks us to make h the subject of the formula. So in other words, we've got to rearrange this so that if we have a value of n um, as part of our normal calculations, then by rearranging this formula, we'll be able to calculate a value of h. OK, so the couple of things that you need to uh, perhaps consider is that you need to treat it really like any other algebra question where whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other side of the equation. And also, you need to work, if you can, well, in fact, not if you can, it's probably better to work down the page. Um, and if you have a look at any of the algebra videos that I have on mathsrap.co.uk or on the YouTube channel, that will give you some indication of the method of working. Okay. So we've got n this side, and on this side we have a fraction, and the fraction is 3h plus 40 divided by 100. So the thing about a fraction is that if we multiply both sides, or if we multiply this fraction by 100, at the moment is divided by with 100. So if we multiply by 100, it means that we can um, get rid of this division which is making life a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to put a note that I'm going to multiply both sides by 100 and on this side it's going to give me 100n. So I'm going to write 100n. There's my equal sign, you'll note that it's, um, it's one above the other, it's in a line. And on this side I've got dividing by 100 and uh, if you like, if I, if I just sort of move that up here and put multiply by with 100, then this will cancel with this. And it's just going to leave me with 3h plus 40 on its own. OK, so I now have 100n on one side and 3h plus 40 on the other. So in order to get um, a value of h to one side, really I need to make sure that my numbers and anything else is on this side and my h value is left on its own eventually on this side. So at the moment I've got an addition 40 there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 40 from both sides, minus 40 from both sides. So with this side, I have 100n take away 40. Now it's not, it's not 100 take away 40, which would give me 60n, because you have to treat these as completely separate terms. 100n is entirely different to the number 100, because n could be anything. It could be 30, in which case that would be 30,000, or it could be 2, in which case that would be 200. So it wouldn't be correct to say that it would be 100 take away 40n. It would be 100n minus 40. 
Um, you need to remember that they are separate terms entirely. Okay, on this side, remember the equal sign in the middle? Um, on this side, I've got 3H, add 40, take away 40. Well, with those two, plus 40, take away 40 means I've got nothing. So that would be 3H. Okay, so this term will give me three values of H, or three times H. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to divide both sides by H, uh, by 3. So if I divide that side by 3, I have to divide this side by 3. If I divide this side by 3, I'm going to come up with an equation which is 100n minus 40, all divided by 3. That equals, on this side, 3h divided by 3 is h on its own. So now I have an expression for h, which is 100n minus 40 all over 3. Um, I hope that's okay for you. You might want to stop the video and just work your way through each of those things, those uh, different steps. Um, I think the key factors are work down the page and also show the examiner each time what you've done in order to get to your end result. Um, usually these sorts of questions, they're usually worth something in the region of about two or three marks, something like that. So if you show the majority of your working, even if you get an, a slightly incorrect answer at the end, you'll still be able to gain some of the marks. Um, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel, or if you're happy with this, uh, post or pin or tweet it. Um, and if you want to add a comment below, then I will try to get back to you uh, as soon as I possibly can. And you can also visit mathsrap.co.uk and that will give you a lot of extra detail as well. In the next video, we're going to be talking about a similar sort of thing, but we're going to be using factorisation as well as part of the process. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.